What's going on, everyone? It's Liam Carrison here. It's time for another episode of The Originals uh, with episode number seven of season one. Um, so, yeah, just when you thought you, you know, you were in a great area, I guess, in terms of, well, uh, Agnes has been dealt with, uh, you know, should be all hunky dory for Haley. Yeah. Uh, Marcel just happens to, I guess, happen, really. Uh, yeah, Hayley has been taken. Um, Marcel has her. And, uh, yeah, um, it's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? So, but Elijah was really on fire in that last episode. Um, so, yeah, obviously there was uh, the whole situation of, um, uh, well, Sophie, um, considering the link between her and uh, Haley, which is now undone. Um, yeah, Sophie was, uh, you know, carrying this poison, of course, to, uh, it's, it, well, essentially abort the uh, baby that Haley is carrying. And uh, yeah, it was just really, really messed up. And uh, like I said, Elijah, uh, yeah, it, he was just on fire in that last episode. So uh, yeah, um, and just giving you another reason um, to just appreciate Elijah's character even further. So, yeah. Because, um, in a sense as well, he did uh, technically keep um, Haley's plea in terms of don't let Klaus do anything. Or, or, well, don't let Klaus do anything, essentially. Because, uh, yeah, he said that, I promise Klaus will not hurt uh, Agnes or any uh, anyone else uh, at the church, of course. I'm not Klaus, though, so, yeah, um, it was just really, really insane, that last episode, uh, but I'm looking forward to jumping into this one, so, with that said, it's time for the originals, episode 7 of season 1, let's go. Welcome to Fight Night! Fight Night? I guess we do not talk about that outside. The vampire left standing at the end of the night. As well, you know, the first the rule is we don't talk about fight night. Oh, oh shit, let's go, Felicia. Oh, oh wow. That power slam. The oh shit. Okay, that was. Uh, Klaus, we were having fight night. I'd like a word. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing? Well, it appears that we've interrupted a collection of filthy amateurs. Ah. Me, look around. Hell, I'll even help you find her. But the question that I'd ask is, if Haley isn't here, where is she? Then where is she? Oh goodness. Is this him, Tyler? Seriously? Oh, snappers! You don't want to fight me, Haley. You know you can't beat a hybrid. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, no. Tyler, don't do anything reckless. Oh, heck. I had a feeling it would go this way. Side, and I've got a city to run. I'll leave you to track down your lost sheep. No. You got it wrong. Lost wolf. Can you find her? She's not a wear sheep. Means you come from a big shot family. Some kind of royalty to the werewolves of this region. Ah, uh, right yeah, here, yeah. The, the big leaves. This is all that's left of them. Not so big leaks. Oh, shh. We had the jocks in my high school. We had a pretty high quota of what you'd call douche nozzles. Douche nozzles. Bullies. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Well, no, I like that too. Those guys now. I bet you tear them apart. Right? Ha 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 ha! Totally. Night. Uh oh. You know, seeing at that plantation where Klaus is staying. Oh, he knows. Oh, he know. He know. Oh no. Ty was rid of. Tyler Lockwood. And why would your little hybrid sidekick from Mystic Falls have any interest in Haley? He wants revenge. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's so funny, obviously, for those who are only are solely watching the originals, there is, of course, a little, um, a bit of animosity, um, between Klaus and Tyler, right? Um, and I am sugarcoating that. But, ultimately, Klaus, who has had the tendency to be a bit of a prick, 
allow Tyler to return to Mystic Falls, right? Um, he was like, you know what, this beef, I'm not pursuing it anymore. I've got, uh, I've got bigger things to be concerned about. But obviously, Tyler was not just going to let that slide. Uh, and thus, this beef ain't settled. So... I ran like a coward before I could finish him off. Anything else that you would like to share? He killed his mom. But there was this business with his mom. You killed his mother. Wonderful. <laughs> he needed to be taught a lesson. And what le I'll do it. Anything. Yes. How much pain are we talking? Oh no. Just imagine like cluster headaches, right? <laughs> Like, so much pain. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, Tyler. What the fuck? So he's making more hybrids! I thought you were leaving town. Couldn't stay away, huh? Oh, sh oh, oh, Lisa! I was half past Louisiana when I found out you invaded our home. What have you done with Haley? You're so hot when you're angry. Look, whatever kicks you have, Marcel, just drop them because, uh, yeah, that heel was in a dangerous place. Well, to vampires. They'll take over New Orleans by the end of the week. And you know what's going to stop Klaus then? Nothing. Nothing. Just the ultimate power move, but... <laughs> You don't know what kind of developments Klaus has gone through since you last saw him. Look at me! You're okay. Five minutes later, he just starts, you know, seizing up and all of that shit. Jazz? So what then? <laughs> Do you know, like jazz? The house trance. You know, uns, uns, uns. I'm a witch, I'm not Amish. <laughs> Just, I'm only 16. And feed on people's blood. Ooh. Get one of those daylight rings so I don't burn in the sunlight. Oh, Josh. All perfectly normal things. Oh, Josh. Just want to sacrifice me in a blood ritual. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm so. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to destroy them all. Oh, heck. And once they're gone, everything will go back to normal. More hybrid monsters. Slaves who do everything he says. Come on, Haley. I know she's Whatever hiding. Whatever you're like thinking of doing, there has to be leg. another way. You're not like this. There we go. Oh, 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 I thought she got him in the... Mm. And he's gonna kill you too. He, he said that hybrids are too dangerous to oh, live. Oh shit! To Shut up, Haley. Cause feeding up Haley, yeah. Forgive me. Thought you were in danger. It appears I was mistaken. Her knight in shining armor. Quite an offer. Though not one I'll be extending to you. Oh, here Clubs. we go! Here Don't we freaking go! You look well. I aim to change that. Oh, we are so back. Come on, mate. Give it a bit more effort. Oh, heck. I want to enjoy myself. There's no way Tyler's going to die in this episode. Oh, the chase is on. So what? So I designed it for you. It was going to be ours. Sweet. That. Sweet. He will kill you in front of my eyes. Out of spite. He will. Not if we get rid of him first. Oh, no, Rebecca. Last must have known. Oh, heck. Damn, really lodged in there. Boy. Listen, this show you. There's no way. There is no way. Shit. I guess I'm another one of your failures. 
Like how you failed at making hybrids? Oh, how I... you failed your family? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Now it looks like you're even gonna fail your own kid. Oh, no! Oh, oh, be careful, Tyler! little life took everything from you. And now you're begging me to sweep away the shards of your shattered little life. Holy sh... <laughs> oh, that writing! Oh! Yeah, there's no way. Death offers more peace than you deserve. It's better to let you live. And each suffering. morning you will wake, knowing that your wretched existence continues only by my will. What would that be? We bury him, down here, forever. Are you mad? This little chamber of horrors may work for your riffraff, but do you really think it will hold my brother? Isn't it worth the risk? You know I'm right. And if the risk Klaus includes your death and he wins? Control you. Sire him. Any idea how that's possible? But look, she didn't have a choice. <laughs> Well, aren't you two fast friends? Oh, come on then. I love how, he's, how he is aware of the shit. To lips from her. Don't spare me your indignation. When have you ever demonstrated any kind of concern towards Haley or her child beyond your own selfish pursuits? And what was it you once said to me? Oh, no. Every king needs an heir. Oh, the way you. Oh! Big brother. Bastard. Oh! That's all I am to you, isn't it? Oh, hey! To Rebecca. I'll play like, the role I've been given. Yeah. This is the. This is who I've been. Oh, my soul! Yo, yo! Once the hallucinations and dementia set in. Yo, what the fuck? Consider that bite my parting gift to you. Yo, Klaus! I'm a 16-year-old witch living in a church attic like some kind of freak. I'm a gay club kid who died and came back as a vampire. <laughs> yeah. The new out. normal. Yeah, <laughs> this is the new normal, I guess. Oh my god. I love how they're gonna become friends. Bad things. It's just most people die before the list gets embarrassing. But don't for a Second, compare yourself to Klaus. Oh no, definitely not. But Elijah just feels like I'm so expectant of the worst of him. Who is Andrea? So shit. I think I am. Oh, that's the day that I was born. Oh, that could be someone else. No! This is her fam- Okay! Go to such lengths where I not beset on all sides by incompetence and treachery. Now that Elijah's abandoned me, I'll be needing you in my plot against Marcel. He's just completely out of it. Marcel than the girl he so clearly loves. You can tell me all his secrets. Like how this is low-key fitting into Elijah's comments about using about people to fit his own, like, sister. purpose. My poor brother. So paranoid. Oh. Marcel knows nothing. He is not plotting against oh, you. He simply thinks you're in a quarrel in need of making up. What if I told you that werewolf girl is Karen Klaus's child? Yo! And if that baby is born, it'll mean the end of the vampire species. Your reign? Yo! What the fuck, Tyler? Jesus! I mean, he's really pushing his luck, isn't he? <laughs> oh, no. Well... This will push things forward for Marcel, definitely. Oh. I love Rebecca's comments, though, like, especially when she said my little brother's so paranoid and all of that. And it just plays on to um, that whole situation of Klaus thinking, oh, everyone just assumes the worst for me in terms of my intents and all of that. So, uh, yeah. Man, this show is really, really super at the minute. Um, 
it's just been very, very fun to go through. And even having time, I mean, I, I, like I said, I know not everyone who's watching the originals has watched the Vampire Diaries. And I'm, I've been always aware of that. Like, especially um, since uh, I compared this whole kind of split system uh, with the Vampire Diaries and the originals to Buffy and Angel, where, you know, um, okay, on one day this week, I'm watching Buffy and then uh, uh, Angel. It's the same with uh, the Vampire Diaries and uh, the originals. So, yeah. Although next week, obviously, will be a double Vampire Diaries, uh, as the uh, watch thing has said. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I was expected on Tyler showing up based on what was happening on the Vampire Diaries. So, yeah. Um, now, obviously... Though, like, watching... I don't know how, like, people would feel about Tyler in regards to if they've only watched the originals, but this isn't a good look for him, is it? So, yeah, obviously there's been a lot of pain between Klaus and Tyler. Um... And... It was, it was gonna be very interesting to see how it would be handled. And, of course, we're still dealing with that, so... Tyler, at least, is gonna be sticking around for a few episodes. So, yeah, at least. Um... Though I can't see him sticking around until, like, the end of the season. It would be very interesting, uh, but... Again, can't see that happening. But will be very interesting to see what happens next episode. It was just going to be very intense whatsoever, um, you know, throughout this episode because of, like I said, it, it's not just the animosity when it comes to Tyler and Klaus, but there is that whole situation about, um, I guess Haley carrying the the child being the key to making more hybrids and all of that, and uh, uh, yeah, it. Uh, Obviously, that whole situation could be a very, very massive uh, power uh, power move against Marcel. It still could be um, right now, even though that, um, you know, there has been this whole debacle about Klaus uh, and how his fixation about this child could mean him creating more hybrids um, when... See, here's the thing. I'm just thinking something about the Vampire Diaries with uh, with uh, Catherine, but um, uh, that, that that is a whole another matter considering what she's going through. But it's, it's just popped into my mind. Uh, and, of course, he used Elena uh, previously uh, with the doppelganger blood and all of that um, as, as a means, really, uh, for his plan to, uh, to carry out. Obviously, that's no longer uh, applicable, but... Um, yeah, I mean, there was, of course, uh, quite the kerfuffle about Klaus using, uh, I guess, the blood, like, well, with Haley carrying this kid, this would be very, very instrumental. Uh, and um, that's why he's showing interest. But, of course, there is um, this whole situation where there is, like, an offence, really, for, for Klaus because of the fact that uh, there it, it's as if he has no interest on actually being a father. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it, it's, it's, it just feels so, so, like, it, it just feels like Klaus is incapable of... of uh, pursuing fatherhood, etc. Um, because all people do is see the worst, really. So, um, yeah. But, I mean, given his actions in the past, I mean, you can't exactly, you can't exactly, um, harbor any kind of blame, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so... But, I mean, the more they develop with, uh, I guess, Haley and Klaus's kid, the more uh, interesting it's going to be, obviously. Um, I mean, it's already a very interesting plot right now, but it's going to be very more interesting once this child is born. Um, so, yeah. Um, but it will be very, very uh, interesting to see what's going to happen in terms of the dynamic between... Uh, I guess 
Klaus with the child and, you know, intertwining Elijah and Haley into that because things are getting a bit more closer. I mean, who is the who is the person that showed up and saved uh, Haley, right? Yeah. Knight in shining armor is Elijah. Uh, and I'm sure those hallucinations are, are probably going to... I don't know. They might push things in terms of, um, you know, romantic intensity between Haley and uh, and Elijah. So, yeah. But, uh, I mean, this whole situation has just been very, very fascinating to see. So, um, but, yeah. I mean, Klaus... They're, they're, like I said, there was a lot of offense, really, when... Obviously, the subject on what interest does the baby uh, hold for Klaus uh, because of uh, the fact that you couldn't really blame him. When, like, even uh, Elijah had that really cool moment when he um, imitated him. Um, yeah, every king needs an heir. That was that was just really really great. But it plays on to the point of um, like especially with this theory that Tyler was testing out. It um, it doesn't dismiss any kind of um, worries uh, that characters might have that Klaus is going to be using the kid for uh, for a power play really against Marcel. Like I said though, this could still play into a factor really uh, if Marcel and uh, uh, Klaus uh, are going to get out of hand. Elijah and Haley, if she is willing, of course, uh, they could, I don't know, faction their own kind of little army and all of that. Especially since there will be a lot of interest in regards... Uh, and now that Marcel knows, that might push things further. Obviously, Haley and Elijah don't know that Marcel knows. But now that Tyler has been like, yeah, guess what? Haley's pregnant with Klaus's kid. Yeah, that's gonna, because that, there's already, um, there's already gonna be like quite um, the commotion uh, from the witches uh, in regards to Haley's kid. Now you got Marcel, and most likely he's gonna blab uh, to the rest of the vampires. You, you're gonna have them showing interest. So it, I wouldn't put it out of the question that. Elijah and Haley might forge their small little own army only for the protection, not as a power play move, but as the protection of, um, um, for Haley. Because as badass as Elijah could be and as efficient as Haley could be, I don't know if they could, um, um, overpower like a horde of vampires and all of that. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if they would be enough. So, yeah. Um, but you bring in an army of hybrids because um, cause we saw that uh, Dwayne was sired to Haley. So it, it wouldn't be like, oh, the side to Klaus and all of that. It gives Klaus ammunition. So it's it, it would it would just be like. Yeah, it, like Haley would definitely be feeling that kind of royalty, wouldn't she? She would be a, a, a queen of sorts. I say that, of course, because um, there was that whole situation about uh, her mark and all of that. And uh, we found uh, that um, that book and all of that in regards to um, how her real name is uh, Andrea. So, um, yeah, but... Um, because, of course, we have to remember about how it, uh, she was adopted and all of that. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, um, it could be a possibility. But, yeah, um, Klaus wants to be beyond. Because uh, we know, I think we've seen through, I mean, yeah, it's only been like several episodes. But we've seen interest from Klaus in regards of being a father and all of that. And uh, if, I, I would say parenthood can change a person. And it can uh, pretty much... Um, not be at, in the realms of impossibility that it could change Klaus, right? So, yeah. Um, but there has been such a precedence in terms of Klaus's uh, tyranny and um, play for power. Um, obviously, that's still going to be um, a focus as Marcel, um, you know, king of his own castle. You put the map together, don't you? And it's like... Well, I, it wouldn't be in the realms of impossibility that he could see this as a way to rebuild his lost army, I guess you could say, because of the fact that, well, he used to have a, a bunch of hybrids, now he doesn't. So, yeah. But, 
and because there is so much interest in this in this baby it it would be a benefit to Klaus but yeah um it is very very interesting how Klaus brought up uh the you know uh bastard thing so um yeah but um it i mean obviously that's not going to be you know the whole case in terms of the judgment against him but i think it does speak a lot in regards to klaus's um state of mind i guess um especially since his father um really like uh, michael was a piece of shit to him so i mean he was a piece of shit in general but we saw like um there has like from those who have seen the the relationship in depth between michael and klaus yeah so um and he just feels like that is um that is you know tied to him and all of that so yeah but it was it was a very very interesting uh, um, uh, comment that he did bring up. So yeah, but at the end of the day, Klaus also needs to realize he tends to have the habit of uh, you know being a bit ruthless, being a bit um, selfish, etc. So yeah, uh, and and that's and that's why you know people are so expectant on being on on him. Um, potentially using this kid as a power play because people just like if you're going to continue to be an asshole and all of that then more and more people are going to expect the worst from you so um and you know that's just the sad reality so um but obviously klaus has this whole situation of um wanting i feel like genuine genuinely wanting to be a dad um but of course like i said if if you're gonna continue if if you don't have enough evidence i guess in klaus's case to uh kind of back up your um good intent and all of that if you've had a history of selfish and violent methods and tyrannical methods etc etc then people are just going to expect that that's going to be your next move because um you you suddenly become that predictable so yeah but yeah um but it was just very very great stuff uh it is going to be very very worrying what's going to happen next episode now that marcel and uh um you know tyler are going to be in cahoots so yeah but it was a nice uh little surprise to to reveal yeah martha i didn't take a although obviously given the last episode you wouldn't it, like one would would be worried like with marcel showing up at the door etc uh next thing you know haley has gone so yeah but yeah um with tyler showing up it made sense um especially if you if you watch the vampire diaries so yeah um but this would be a way to get to klaus um but at the same time he's expectant to die um he, he has lost everything he is completely shattered and uh he has nothing left he, he has he doesn't have anything to lose at this point so um and i wasn't expecting tyler to die in this episode obviously the confrontation between klaus and tyler was definitely going to get bloodied especially um when klaus gave him the green light to return to mystic falls but obviously like i said now that uh, in this episode he has nothing left to lose um so and the only thing that really matters is to get back at klaus for, for what he has done for taking everything from him so um and now he's going to try and do the same thing uh, to Klaus. Um, so, yeah. But um, it was going to... Uh, like you, you, well, it, it's not just the fact that you didn't think that Tyler would die in this episode and all of that. Because, like, they're not going to kill him off here, right? But once he was, like, essentially begging for Klaus to end his life, there was no way. Because death would be a mercy. It's it's always that case when a character's like, yeah, kill me. Don't have any, anything to live for. It's that peace. And your sworn enemy, you want them to suffer, right? So, um, you let them live. You don't put the peace to them. So, um, 
because peace is never an option. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I really, really loved this episode. So even the little bit of um, Marcel trying to sway Rebecca um, to his side and all of that. Um, so yeah, but Rebecca is uh, like, even if Marcel is... Um, trying his best to sway Rebecca and all of that. It's it, like the way he, he's coming out um, with, you know, Klaus, for example, being stranded in the garden, etc. Because Marcel didn't even know about the whole fact that if you kill an original, your whole line dies out. So, um, and, you know, that was something I was like, you know, curious about like Tyler, if you're gonna kill Klaus, you're killing yourself as well. But um as we find out in this episode, he doesn't mind that. So um it's like if if uh, I'm going to hell you're coming with me basically. But um yeah um Rebecca not happening whatsoever in terms of um in terms of Klaus uh, in terms of Marcel swaying um swing her to his side so yeah i also really loved the josh and davina scenes obviously with marcel he knew that josh was spying on him so he tried to um untangle that well undo that basically um but i love it though and you know there's no ship going on well there is a friendship uh but there's no romantic ship going on because he's gay um and all of that so um and i just really really love their talk about you know normality and all of that so yeah um and how they are trying to pursue that but of course they realizing their certain quirks and all of that and it's like well this is the new normal this is us so yeah but i kind of want to see more of them too uh, in terms of their, like, friendship blossoming further and further, BFFs, right? So, um, and, you know, there wasn't, like, even though the process, like, seemed to be painful at first and all of that in terms of doing the compulsion from, um, from, uh, Josh, um, there was more to love about the interactions between Davina and Josh because of how, you know, chill Davina was to Josh and vice versa and, uh, uh, yeah, um, you just want to hope that they will become BFFs one day, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, but, uh, it was just a really, really great episode, well, like I said, it will be fascinating to see what will happen, uh, next time, now that Tyler, um, you know, has met with Marcel at the end, and, uh, yeah, um, that will be very, very fun to um, develop from there. But yeah, really, really great stuff of uh, this episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You should have my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!